Hello you two, welcome back to another writing lesson. Today we're going to get started with our poetry. But first, let's take a look at some of the awesome work that you've been sending in. Well done to Fraser in 2L, who did an awesome job of thinking of 10 things that an explorer would need in his bag. Well done to Lucas in 2CH, who did a great job of sorting those words into adjectives, verbs and nouns, and even had a go at adding some of his own. Well done to Miley in 2SH, who also did a great job of sorting those words into the different word classes. Well done to Maisie in 2CH, who did a great job of finding some items and using some awesome adjectives to describe them. And well done to Felicity in 2W, who did a great job of writing down some questions and answers for her items. Right, are you ready to warm your brains up? We're going to practice those adjectives, verbs and nouns. Can you do the actions with me? Here we go. Adjective, verb, nouns. Remember, an adjective is a describing word. A verb is a doing word, it's an action word. And a noun is a person, place or thing. So, let's have Okay. Don't forget to do the actions of what you think it is, whether it's an adjective, verb or noun. Cool. Run. Creepy. Iceberg. Bag. Amazing! Fish Skip Now remember, in yesterday's lesson we wrote our expanded noun phrases. But don't worry if you didn't get a chance to do that lesson yesterday. I'm going to pop mine up on the screen here so that you can have a look and you can always use mine if you missed yesterday's lesson. Now today, we're going to be thinking about how we can make our expanded noun phrases even better. So we're going to be thinking about taking them and extending them into longer sentences. Don't worry, we're not going to be doing it with all of our expanded noun phrases, we're just going to pick a few. Because if we look at our poem that we've been looking at this week, 10 Things Found in a Wizard's Pocket, he's extended some of his sentences to make it more exciting. Let's have a look. Let's have a read of the poem. See if you can spot any expanded noun phrases that he has expanded. A dark night. Some words that nobody could ever spell. A glass of water full to the top. A large elephant. A vest made from spider's webs. A handkerchief the size of a car park. A bill from the one shop. A bucket full of stars and planets to mix with the dark night. A bag of magic mints that you can suck forever. A snoring rabbit. <sighs> Did you spot any expanded noun phrases? I saw one right at the top. A dark night. A large elephant. But he's taken some of these and he's extended them to make them more exciting. So instead of just saying a bucket full of stars and planets, instead he said a bucket full of stars and planets to mix with the dark night. Or instead of just saying a glass of water, he said a glass of water full to the top. Can you see how it makes the poem a little bit more exciting and puts more of an image in your head? Do you think we could do that with our poem? What I want you to do now is pick two or three of your items that you're going to take and put into your explorer's bag or your explorer's pocket for our poem and think about which ones you might like to talk about. Have you got them? Okay, I've chosen to pick the torch, the matches, because they make a cool sound, the notebook, 
and I've been a little bit cheeky and I've picked four items because I just couldn't choose. So I've also got my tent. Now, what I want you to do is think about the purpose of the item. So this torch, it can help me see in the dark. Now my expanded noun phrase for my torch was a black glowing torch. Now the fun thing with poetry is you can make it a little bit make-believe. It doesn't have to be really serious. So I think that the torch, it does help me see in the dark, but I'm going to say a black glowing torch that helps me see anything that I want to see. Because I imagine when I shine my torch onto the walls or if I shine it into the distance and I wanted to see a polar bear or I wanted to see some yummy food or I wanted to see some cool constellations in the sky. This is going to be a magic torch that can show me absolutely anything that I want. Pause the video and you have a go. Think about the item. What could it do? It could be something useful, like you could say a black glowing torch that helps me see in the dark because that's what it does. Or you can have a go at being a little bit more creative. Have a go. Okay, my next one, year two, is my notebook. Now, my expanded noun phrase was an empty notebook. Empty is my adjective, notebook is my noun. So I've got an empty notebook. Now, I packed this notebook, year two, because I wanted to write down all of the wonderful things that I would find on my adventures. So, I could say an empty notebook to write down all of my thoughts. I could say an empty notebook to jot down my adventures. Or I could say an empty notebook to fill with a lifetime of memories. Because when we go somewhere and when we write things down or take pictures, they're creating memories for us. You have a go now, year two. Pick another item and see what you could come up with. My next item that I've got is my tent. Now, my expanded noun phrase, this was one that I up-leveled. I said a robust, waterproof tent. Now, what's the tent going to do for me? Hmm, it's going to keep me safe. It's going to give me shelter. Hopefully, it's going to keep me warm if it's waterproof. So, if I put those ideas together in a sentence, I could say... A robust, waterproof tent to keep me safe and warm. Do you think that sounds good? Pause the video, grab another item and see what you can come up with. Now all we need to do is write them down. So I've got my original expanded noun phrase, robust, waterproof tent, and I'm going to write out my new extended sentence. Robust, waterproof tent to keep me safe and warm. Don't forget, before you do your sentences, think it, say it, write it, then check it back. My next one is empty notebook, but I think I want to start with an empty notebook, so I need to swap this capital letter for a lower case and add in an, an empty notebook to fill with a lifetime of memories. Don't forget those capital letters at the start and try and make your handwriting super neat. Now remember, like I said, poetry is really, really cool because you can make it a little bit make-believe. Now, I've got my expanded noun phrase, wooden matches, and I decided to write wooden matches that spark out magic flames because I thought that would put an awesome picture in the readers minds and it just came to me as I was writing my other expanded noun phrases. When you're writing your new sentences today you could always add some little doodles around the outside because remember it's poetry and anything is possible. I've done some stars around the word magic I've written the word anything in capital letters so that when the reader says that word, they emphasise it. I wonder what you will come up with. 
Let's take a look at our chili challenges. Chili challenge one, you're going to choose two or three of your items and you're going to orally rehearse your sentence. So you're going to say them out loud. It would be lovely if some of you could send those in for us to have a look at. Chili challenge two, you're going to identify three or four of your expanded noun phrases, just like I have, and you're going to try and extend them. And chili three, there's a bit of a problem. It says, justify. This is the best way to extend this expanded noun phrase. Large, strong water bottle, and they've extended it to large, strong water bottle, that's big. Is that the most exciting way that they could have extended it? What do you think? Can you think of a better way? I'll pop on my original expanded noun phrases for anybody that missed yesterday's lesson or is having trouble finding what they wrote down yesterday. You can magpie mine if you want to or you can just use your own. Remember, poetry is a great opportunity to use our imagination. You can be a little bit creative and a little bit wild with what you're going to say. It doesn't have to be real, it can be made up. Be as creative as you can. Now our original poem is 10 things found in a wizard's pocket and we're adapting it to 10 things found in an explorer's pocket or an explorer's bag. But it's also okay if you don't do 10 things. Maybe you do 5. Maybe you want to do 6. It's up to you. I've popped all of mine together so that now I've got my poem ready for tomorrow. You might want to do the same. You could have a go at putting them in, di in a different order to see what sounds the best. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thank you so much for joining me Year 2. I can't wait to see you tomorrow where we'll take our expanded noun phrases, our few extended expanded noun phrases and we're going to write up our poems. Make sure you're ready to be creative tomorrow because we're going to be doing some artwork I can't wait to finish our poem. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget, you can always send in your hard work to our year two email address. I might even be able to magpie some ideas from you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.